Alright, so in this video we're going to look at creating a histogram using Excel 2016. If you have an earlier version like 2013, I have a video where I created a histogram using Excel 2013, so you can, you can check that out. Alright, so, and I'll have the link, the link in the description of that also. Alright, so here I've got some data values. It, it goes way down. There's about 150 values, data values, something like that. So we, we, can, we can select them all, we can highlight them, or we can just come over here and click on the list. And we want to go to insert. Alright, now in 2013 we would insert a bar chart and then we would and then we would modify it. But in, in 2016 we have this insert statistic chart and you can see they have a histogram. Okay, so we, we can just click on that and it'll create a histogram for us. And what it does, it says uh, show it shows the distribution of data grouped into bins. And w when they say bins, they're, they're talking about the classes. Well, in this example, we want to use eight classes. Okay. Excel uses a formula to calculate the number of classes or bins for you. All right, so let's just come over here and let's just click right here what Excel does. And you can see Excel, it does five classes or five bins. All right, well, we want eight bins. So what we do is the the x-axis here or the horizontal axis we want to double click this okay so we double click it and you can see here the bins it's set to automatic okay well we can come here and we can change the bin width right now it's 16 we could change it to 10 or 8 or whatever we want and it'll automatically adjust these numbers. Alright, so the number of bins I want is 8. So we'll change that to 8 and hit enter. And you can see it automatically changes it. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, now you can see that the bin width is 9.875. Alright, so, so if you remember this uh, from statistics or in your statistics class that whenever you determine the class width when, whenever you calculate that number and you get a decimal remember you round it up to the next integer okay for the class width or in this case Excel's calling it bin width Okay. you round it up to the next integer. So I just put the number of bins at 8 okay, and it calculated the bin width to be 9.875. So yeah, I mean you can leave it like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and change it to 10 to round it up to that next integer and hit enter and you can see it still left it at 8. Okay, but but what it did, you notice it changed these numbers here. Okay. All right. So now what we need to do is, well, we've got a chart title. Okay. These are exam scores. So we can click on this and we can change that. Just highlight it and change it. We can we can put test number one uh, grades. Okay. And then we'll click out here somewhere and so that's changed. Now I want to enter on the I want to enter uh, a description on the x-axis or horizontal axis and one on the vertical axis. So what we can do is come over here to this add chart element click that down and see here axis title so we've got the primary that's the horizontal and you can see, watch how it, watch how it bumps up over here, down here. See how it puts that there, axis title, and it'll do the same thing on the vertical. So let's go ahead and 
and do the the horizontal axis so when we click this so we can we can highlight this and this would be the grades okay that's their grades that's the grades from 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 okay now <clears throat> if you notice this is 10 to 20 and it's including the 10 and the 20 here it's 20 to 30 but it's not including the 20 here it's 30 to 40 but it's not including the 30 but it's including the 40 and so on okay so there's the horizontal now we can add to the vertical so click that click in here and we can highlight it and uh, we can call that the frequency that's what that is is that's this tells us how many grades are between 10 and 20 okay this vertical axis does all right so now you can you can see that well we really can't tell where this is I mean how many is it yeah when we put our mouse over it it tells us 22 here it tells us 19 and so on okay but if I come over here and I want to add some labels to it now also notice when I click on this before we get to adding the, the data labels notice when I clicked on this bar here it says it has this gap this gap width we can change that width and see what it does it puts a gap in between them but a histogram is not supposed to have any gaps between it so you you probably want to leave that at zero you know unless your teacher tells you you know something different if they say it's okay then go ahead and change it but we'll, we'll leave it at zero and so now when we when we go back to the to any of the bars we can click on okay when we right click see how it says add data labels so if we pop this out we put add data labels okay and if we click on one of them okay we click on one of these and we come over here you click this value here okay so it's we have the values 22 19 19 12 13 and these numbers these labels we can leave them up here or we can put inside inside the base or outside the end okay or if you want to center them I'll just go ahead and leave them outside like this okay and you know and when you click on the chart here I mean you can come up here and they have you know you can you can format these things differently you know you can make them look different there's one there's one but you know, we'll just leave it like this. You can uh, you can actually you know change format plot area. Okay, so if you want to, you can fill it uh, a solid fill, and then you come over here and maybe pick a color or something, uh, and or put no fill. I just leave it at no fill. Uh, you can do borders all that stuff you can you can play around with that but the but the main thing of this video is just teaching you how to create this okay and I mean it looks nice and it's a little it's easier than uh, than what you had to do in Excel 2013 so I hope this video helped uh, check out my other videos give me a like subscribe and share and thanks for watching